and then one of my teachers was nearby and then uh, they were like yeah Ryan these are your results and um, when you did get an A star in economics and I was like what? Right so my name is Ryan and I basically make YouTube videos about GCSEs, A-levels and medical school and um, yeah just general educational videos if you want to see some of these videos then you know just check them out this is my channel there's plenty of videos there to watch GCSEs or A-levels or if you're in medical school then there's plenty of videos to keep you entertained for a couple of hours now the reason uh, I made this YouTube channel right is because in one of my A-levels in my first year I got a D and in my second year I got an A star and when I got that I was like okay uh, let's make a youtube video just to give people an idea of what i did to get my a star and then like someone else it might benefit someone else and help them get an a star in a subject so this video as you can tell from the title is basically the story of how i managed to get this a star in economics from a d at the beginning right so in year 12, right, I picked uh, biology, chemistry, economics and math. Now, biology and chemistry weren't too hard, I didn't mind them, but economics was a struggle. I understood the content, I understood everything the teacher was saying, but I just wasn't getting the marks in the exam. And that was quite frustrating, like even in January exams I got a C, and then at the end of the year, overall, I got a D. And I was thinking, like, why? Like, I understand everything the teacher's talking about, I can hold a good conversation with my economics teacher and about the British economy so why am I not getting the marks so like um, so yeah and then I got a C in maths at the end of uh, year 12 but I decided to drop maths because I didn't enjoy it and I chose economics because I thought well I enjoy the subject and I know I got a D in it but if because I enjoy it and like if I work hard then I could probably pull it up to a B or something or like a C so um, that was the intention right uh, and obviously year 12 finished and then year 13 started and then biology chemistry again like I was fine with them like it wasn't too hard but it wasn't um, too easy either so like I was basically I was coping with biology and chemistry now economics I was absolutely bricking it because I'd sent off all my like uh, applications to unis and I got back like offers from Newcastle, King's College and Durham for to study medicine and medicine with foundation yeah right so the minimum that I needed of all all three of those unis was a BCC and that was from Durham uh, medicine with the foundation yeah so I was hoping right to see if I could pull my day grade up to like a C at least I mean surely that's possible so in year 13 like I, I thought to myself where was I going wrong like with year 12 like obviously I was putting in the work but how am I getting like a D in economics like I should be getting at least a C or a B if I'm putting this much work in so the places that I went wrong I figured out was that I wasn't doing enough past papers like I would go through one or two past papers just to say that I've done a past paper like I wasn't actually doing every single past paper that you should be doing if you want the A or the A star uh, so like that was number one number two was my revision like it wasn't the resource that I was using for my revision wasn't a good one so there was a certain book that I was using which wasn't actually good um, and a friend of mine recommended a different book um, like it was like a genuine uh, exam board endorsed textbook um, so so then I switched my resources so that was the second thing um, changing my resources for what I used um, so the first was not enough past papers, the second one um, changing the resources that I used and the third thing my revision in general was not structured so like it wasn't organized at all like I would one day be doing this topic and then the next day I'd be doing that topic and then like one week this topic one week that topic and then uh, like a week before the exam I'm there stuck and I'm thinking oh I haven't done this topic, this one, this one, this one. I hope this one doesn't come up. So like I was in a bit of an, a, a situation at, like in, in my previous exams. 
So in order to avoid that, I structured and organized my revision more. Now, the way that I did this was like I had, so there was probably like two months left of the exam, right? And in that two months I said, well, if I can say do like a certain number of topics every week, then I'll be happy like before the exam. So this, 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 this week, and this topic, this topic, and that topic this week, etc. And then I did past papers and loads of past papers. Um, then I had like a week spare before the exam where I didn't have to do anything. But obviously like I was just reading through some little bits and bobs. But that was the third thing, just organized, structured, revision, uh, revision notes, everything has to be in folders like structured. Now for me, that's what worked. I know some people out there, like they have no structure, no organization to their revision, like some of my friends even, like they're just revising all over the place. Sometimes they read this book and then sometimes it's that book and then like they still come out with good grades. Like, But this is what helped me. So those were the three things I realized were my mistakes in year 12 and then in year 13. That's when I thought, right, well, if I can improve on that, then I could possibly pull my economics grade up to a C. Now, then, right, I went into the exam. It was, it was like, it was a bit of an experience, like a weird one, because like, I've never been so confident like in an exam and I don't mean this in an arrogant way but the way that I'm tr what the, what I'm trying to explain is that like imagine you've done every single past paper that's came up right and um, you picked up on like a structure of like how they ask questions which question when and then like what answers they like you understand how the mark scheme works like you literally got the mark scheme engraved in your head like I c the the stuff that I was writing in that exam was not the things that I would say like personally like if my teacher asked me that question it's not something that I would reply to the teacher like oh uh, well the the PED of of this is blah 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 do you know what I mean like it was the answers that I was writing down were things that would they would say in a mock scheme and like that's when like I kind of um, realized okay well now I'm I'm better prepared for this exam before I wasn't prepared and now like I feel properly prepared for this exam so um, and then yeah so obviously after I sat the exam then results they came in the summer and like I was scared like genuinely scared because the other two right biology and chemistry like I had already got like a B in both of the subjects so like I wasn't too stressed about that the only one that I was stressed about was the economics and I was like right even though I was confident in that exam, the thing is, right, I was, I've was i been confident in exams before and I've came out and I've flopped them really badly. So even though I was confident in that past exam that I did for economics, the last couple of exams, I don't think, or I'm, I'm not 100% sure whether or not I've managed to pull it up to a C. And then I didn't go in for my results day, so my, my mom went in because I was on my way to, to London um but when she went in like she rang us and she was like oh ryan you got an a star a b and i was like what okay so what so i was like okay so a star's probably in like biology or something like sick that's you know that's mint that's sick so then i was like oh so what subject did i get the a star in and she's like economics and i was like um I don't think that is physically possible and then one of my teachers was nearby and then uh, they were like yeah Ryan these are your results um, and you did get an A star in economics and I was like what like of all the subjects economics that's how I got me A star and like the whole process of like when I got the D how I felt like I, I was pretty like miserable I was like what I was like how because like surely I put the effort in so like obviously I should get you know like at least a B or something so but then when I got the A star like I was absolutely buzzing I was like it was mad I was just like whoa like I didn't think I like I didn't think I could get it and then I found out obviously 
that I got into medical school that morning, um, so it was pretty cool. It was a very good, um, it was a very, I was very happy, I was, I was uh, very happy, so yeah. Um, but that is basically how I managed to get from a D to an A star. Now, just to quickly summarize the main points that I mentioned um, in this video, so that you go away and you learn something from this. Like, I'm not just telling you this story because, um, like, I don't know, because I'm a storyteller, but I'm telling you because hopefully, like, you can apply what I did and get like A's or A stars yourself. So, to quickly summarize, um, number one, you need to reflect, right? Reflect, find out where you went wrong. What did you do? What were the things, the main things that you did wrong? Number two, for A levels, you need to do as many past papers as you possibly can. Do not make excuses, say that, oh, I've there's, 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 there's not enough past papers in this specification, blah, blah, blah. If there's not enough in your specification, then do the specification before. If there's not enough in that, then do the one before. However, all you have to do is one specification at least one time around all the past papers and you should be fine, to be honest. Um, so that was number two. Number three is organise your revision, organise your whole you know structure your revision what are you gonna when you're coming close to the exam i'm not saying structure revision throughout the whole year yeah, what i'm trying to tell you is structure your your revision before the exam so like say there's two months left before the exam that's eight weeks so structure what do you want to do in these eight weeks if you want do it three months in advance it's up to you structure your revision and to be honest i think that's probably it um Anyways, if you want to see other videos, like I said, my social media, etc, etc, like all of that, I'm going to put all, like somewhere like, like here, like, like there, somewhere there, there's going to be like a, you know, them slidey little screen recordings of, um, of like my YouTube channel and my social media, like I'll put all of that there and you can just make sure you subscribe and then there's like a little bell, the bell is, um, means that you get a notification every time I upload which will benefit you quite a lot so make sure you like click on the bell and um, but yeah and subscribe as well and thanks for watching and just leave a comment but anyways thanks for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe and bye for now Thank God that we made it Amen. Thank Amen. God for the money I'm making Amen. Plug talks in the mats and the ranges Putting smiles on my family's faces